Hey there, everyone. It's uh, Bob Martin, RC Sub Guy, here with Sub Ed. It's uh, Saturday, and as promised, we uh, got a little bit of video from the event that uh, we just attended uh, down in Houston. Had some, uh, Ed busted out his Alpha for the first time since last season, and uh, it I think we're happy to report it performed basically flawlessly. Um, also had the Baleo out and uh, super happy with how that performed. So we're going to show you some footage, let you see how uh, everything turned out. And uh, you can get as excited for those boats as, uh, as we were. Air guitar. Air guitar. <laughs>
up to what you see there. Now, obviously, Baleo was not setting any uh, sea speed records. Uh, and the reason being is we discovered one of the drive shaft couplings uh, came disconnected in the motor compartment. So um, we didn't have the tools uh, and parts needed to make repairs at the pond. So uh, it was running under uh, one screw, which actually is still pretty impressive, um, all things being equal. Um, but with that being the case, everything else basically worked flawlessly. The trim was absolutely perfect. The turning radius was surprisingly good, uh, even with just the rudder. But you'll see the uh, stern thruster there made a world of difference for uh, getting it spun around in enclosed spaces. Um, so all in all, super excited with how it uh, turned out. Maiden voyages of these submarines, you never know what's going to happen. Um, like Ed said, any day you come back with your boat on the stand and not at the bottom of the pond is a good day of RC submarining. What did you think of, uh, of the Fitz boat float event down here in Houston? You know, anytime you get together with a group of friends and have fun like we did is a great time. I, I thought it was a great event. It, it's actually a very nice lake. Everybody there was extremely friendly. Um, Excited, excited to learn more about submarines. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. As um, as is sort of normally the case, because not many people know about them. It was very comfortable, you know, Bob. That it was comfortable. Yeah, it was a very comfortable feeling. It, it doesn't feel like, a, you know, a large lake it, it, that you'll, oh, you know, you lose your boat. You know, it, you definitely have a comfortable. I now, having said that, there were a bunch of submerged sticks and uh, yes. some some muddy bottoms. When I, I dove the two on two for the first time, I got stuck under a stick. I had to power my way out from underneath it. Um, How did your boat do today? First first time in the water since last September. Bob and I had to do a, a bit of retrimming, but she ran like a champ. It, it it's getting so. When you get a boat dialed in, it's it's so easy. <laughs> okay. yeah. I don't think it's boring. It's just it's it's like the epitome of of achievement. Yeah. You know, no no uh, additional input required. One handed operation. You can sit and talk to someone and just kind of out of the corner of your eye, keep an eye on your on boat. boat. Yeah. Exactly. And what's fun? What what's always fun for me is every few minutes you hear the surface guys look where's the sub where's the sub where's the sub yeah and you're doing exactly what the submarine is supposed to do approach by stealth mm -hmm. <laughs> no it was it was a it was a fun event and a, and a successful outing so definitely looking forward to the next time they run them every three months so we'll have a, a good chance to mix up with like dallas area and yeah. i'll be back i'll be back every three months to come down here and run with bob and them you, you know, if you live in driving distance, it's crazy not to do this. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, you're selling yourself short. If you enjoy this hobby and you want to do this hobby and have something right other than mm -hmm. sitting on the shelf all year, close, come, come play with us. Absolutely.